My Feelings Make Me Stronger by Elizabeth Cole Little Nick understands many important things, like why butterflies have four colorful wings and why our planet Earth has five oceans, but sometimes he can't figure out his emotions. Once in a while, Nick is grumpy most of the day. He feels frustrated when things don't go his way. Sometimes he gets silly and has fun with his sister, and all kinds of emotions start to spin like a twister. One day while Nick was visiting the national park, something happened under the sandstone arc. As Nick and his family were watching the eagles fly, his toy truck fell off the rock in the blink of an eye. The corners of Nick's mouth turned into a frown. He hunched his back and bowed his head down. His eyes filled with tears and he no longer felt joy. Nick was sad that he had broken his favorite toy. What's up, little guy? One of the buffalo asked as it bounced up to the boy surprisingly fast. After little Nick explained what had made him upset, the buffalo shared something Nick didn't know yet. Once I was also sad while playing Secret Wave. All of my friends managed to hide in a small cave, but I was way too big to find a good hiding place. Instead of being happy, tears ran down my face. Do you know how I chased my sadness away? I told my friends about what had ruined my day. They were as understanding as they could be, and we found a solution together. I'd play a tree. So, talk to someone you trust when you feel sad. A hug also helps, especially from mom and dad. Think happy thoughts that make you want to fly. A smile will drive the dark clouds from your sky. You shouldn't hide feelings you have inside you. You should recognize each and deal with them too. Some of them can make you laugh with glee, but some of them are as unpleasant as can be. Like anger, the beaver said as he joined in on the talk. Once I was building a dam in the shape of a big rock, but the wind started knocking everything over in haste. I was so angry that all my hard work had gone to waste. My forehead started throbbing like it was going to blast. I clenched my fist tightly and my heart was beating fast. But you know what I did before my rage reached its peak? I closed my eyes and started a slow breathing technique. I stopped for a moment and took a comfortable pose. I counted to five while inhaling air through my nose. Then I paused and exhaled the air in the same way, and I kept repeating this until my anger went away. What about fear? Nick asked. How do I deal with it? Many things give me creeps and chills, I must admit like the spooky shadows when mom turns off the light, or the underbed monster that lurks there every night. When I get scared, my heart pounds in my chest. I want to hide somewhere right away and fast. My whole body shakes and I am covered in sweat. My legs get wobbly and both palms become wet. One night, I heard a scary noise, the possum said. I thought it was a monster, so I lay down and played dead. But then I realized I should tell my parents about my fear. Together, we found out that it was the snoring of a deer. Talk to your parents about things that give you a scare. They'll check your bed and make sure nothing is there. Or you can take a paper and write down your fear, cast it away, and your dread will soon disappear. 
There are no good or bad feelings. They are all okay. Showing emotions is healthy if you find the right way. I'm known for my shyness when meeting someone new. So I've learned to control it, the deer joined the crew. Nick said, I'm shy too. When new people are around, I get so nervous that I find it hard to make a sound. My cheeks flush and I start to feel a stomach ache. My throat becomes dry and my voice starts to shake. I know what you mean, the deer said with a sigh. Starting with simple steps is a strategy you can try. Say hi to the new kid you meet on the playground. Offer your toy or show a strange leaf you just found. Nick said, now I understand that my feelings come and go. They can take turns quickly or they can come together slow. I can't always choose the emotions I might feel each day, but what I can do is decide which one of them will stay. Feeling disappointed, embarrassed, or confused is okay. At times, impatience, boredom, or worry can get in my way, but I let hope, playfulness, serenity, and love linger longer. My feelings are a part of me, and they make me stronger. Thank you.